Let me talk about taxes. Mayor Booker, if the president wants to expand government uh, with not just a stimulus program, but also a massive health care overhaul, can he keep his pledge of not raising taxes on the middle class? Is that the responsible thing to do? Well, look, in our cities, we're finding that the more we can create tax incentives, the more we can create tax-free zones, uh, the more you stimulate economy, the more you create opportunity. If we're going to create competitive cities for the future, we've got to continue programs like the one started by Jack Kemp and supported uh, by many Democrats, which was enterprise zones and things like that. So I'm hoping, and I, my conversations with the Obama administration is that they're looking at ways to create, make, create more competitive cities so we can create, uh, compete with the Mumbai's, the Dubai's, the Shanghai's, uh, cities like New York and cities like Newark. But the challenge is, is when you want to do more, uh, uh, and provide more as a government in terms of services, you've got to figure out a way to pay for it. But let's take the reality of health care, for example. Right now, urban hospitals are being crushed under the weight of paying for the uninsured, paying for undocumented immigrants. I've had two hospitals close in my city that sent out tsunamis in terms of uh, waves of people that need help and need support. We've got to find a way to pay for these things because, unfortunately, the cost is getting passed well, but, that, but that's the question. Can you do all of that? Can you relieve that crunch and just tax the wealthiest Americans, or do you have to extend that? You, you have to talk about the problem in the totality. If you don't have things like tort reform, if you don't have things like uh, advocating uh, prevention programs, if you start working more aggressively in the totality of the problem, I think you reduce the burden on the taxpayer, and that's why cost control right. is one of the most important parts right, of this conversation. I want, to, I want to stay on taxes. Mayor Bloomberg, this is something that you wrote in, in May a Newsweek magazine about sort of the challenges for President Obama. You wrote, if Obama isn't afraid to throw traditional political calculations out the window and risk seeing his poll numbers plunge into the 20s, he will earn many more long-term victories and deeper respect and support from voters. Is he living up to that, or is this refusal to think about a middle-class tax hike inconsistent with that admonition? Well, I think it's two separate questions. I think he is living up to that. My advice to him is there's two important things to do when you take office. One is to build a team. Number two is to address the toughest issues right away because then you have time to take unpopular decisions and win the confidence of the public back when your decisions turn out to be the correct ones. And he has. He can't take on everything, but he's certainly taken on a number of uh, controversial things here, and he's been dealt a tough hand, although it's fair to say that every president coming into office has a tough hand. This is not an easy job. Uh, I think he is doing exactly what he should do. He'll have some failures. He won't. Uh, then there's no easy answers. Everybody wants more services. Nobody wants to pay, uh, pay for them. Uh, you can only get so much money, uh, so much blood out of a stone. You have to share the burden. We have to make sure that we're competitive with countries overseas. As Corey said, we're in an international competition for the best and the brightest and for jobs. Mm -hmm. And this country's uh, immigration policy, for example, is driving the industries of the future overseas. If you take a look at where the most innovative medicine is being done, it's being done in India, and an awful lot of the doctors doing it were educated here. But does the president have to look beyond the rich for taxes? Oh, yeah. They, there's just the, the middle class is, bears the real burden here. That's why the middle class is getting hurt. And what you, can, uh, you keep hearing, and you know, I take the subway in the morning, and people, right. everybody talks about what their complaints are. It's New York. And Paying taxes is something nobody likes. Now, they like the services that taxes pay for, but uh, you have to have a, the burden. Uh, right. Everybody's going to have to, to sacrifice. Everybody's going to have to reach in their pocket if we're going to have a city and a country right. of the future. Does he have to reconsider that promise not to raise taxes on the middle class? Well, I think we'll see down the road. You know, in the end, the president has to deal with the reality, and some of the things are beyond his control. He makes commitments, and he tries to live up to them. And I think the courage of, of being able to say, look, the world is different than what I anticipated or what it was before, and I'm going to have to face that is fine. That does not mean that he's going to have to raise taxes on the middle class, but we certainly are spending an enormous amount of money that we don't have. And we've got to get our costs under control. We've got to be a lot smarter in defense purchases. We've got to be a lot smarter, as Corey pointed out, in providing medical services. One of the big problems with health care is that we spend a lot more than they do in Western Europe, but they have a longer life expectancy mm -hmm. than we do. There's something wrong. And addressing that issue, are the people in there giving, doing the things that we want? Do we have the right hospitals in the right place? Are we relying on the right tests? Tory mentioned, uh, Corey mentioned uh, tort reform. 
And uh, unless you do tort reform and immigration reform, you're not going to really fix the problem with health care.